We're going to introduce you to a sport that's been around for more than a century, but remains something of a mystery. It combines a bit of the old west with some new fangled tricks on skis. Ever heard of ski drawing? Janet Chamlian was among those in the dark before we sent her in search of a ride. Go! Go. It's the wildest winter sport you may never have heard of. <laughs> ski drawing is an adrenaline-soaked blend of horses, riders, and skiers. Racing through a short course packed with snow at top speed as the skier holds onto a rope for dear life, navigating jumps along the way. <laughs> Cheering fans are inches from the action. What's the attraction of ski drawing? There's not many opportunities you get to be literally feet away from a 1,200, 1,500 pound animal with rider on back pulling a skier at 40 miles an hour past your nose. Duffy Council runs Leadville, Colorado's annual ski drawing competition, one of the nation's oldest. From the rider's first yell to the skier yelling, go, 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 go. I'm getting goosebumps right now. <laughs> you can hear the crowd as a spectator, like the wave from the start to the finish. Uh, it's tough to put into words. Why haven't more people heard of it? It may just be starting to grow its roots in pop culture America. You know, here in Leadville, it's been going on for 75 years. For 10 of those years, Savannah McCarthy has been Leadville's reigning champ, winning her first ski drawing competition at just 13 against a field of mostly men. What's the attraction of ski drawing? I always wanted to be a jockey, but I'm a little bit too big to be a jockey. <laughs> so this was like the closest thing I could get. All right, you're good. There's just not a lot of other sports where you can just go full speed. Challenge right now. For McCarthy, it's a family affair. Her sister Jade competes, and her parents used to. Despite fame in the ski drawing world, many in hers have no idea what it is. I'm a broker at a financial firm, so really nothing, different. Much different. What do your coworkers think? Uh, they definitely have never heard of it. Uh, every time I bring it up, they're like, ski what? Some host cities are heating up the challenge even more. In Montana, skiers race through fire as the snow flies. This is not for the faint of heart. Oh, man. Any injuries over the years? I've had a few. Um, I've had a broken nose. I've had a few concussions here and there. I landed on top of a minivan one time. They call it ski yori. Ski joring started in Nordic countries with reindeer as a way to get around. Skiers over the years found themselves behind motorcycles, cars. A horse fell victim to the mechanical revolution. Even an aircraft or two before the sport found its way to mountain towns here. What does this mean to Leadville? This is arguably the most iconic Wild West event that this town has ever seen. Council no longer ski jores, blaming seven knee spots. surgeries. His son Brennan has taken up the mantle while he ensures Leadville is ready. Savannah bravely allowed me on her championship horse money. You've so got it, awesome. Who would go on hours later to win Leadville once again. Does it still bring the same adrenaline rush? It does. It's never going to get old, I think, no matter how many times I do it. And you definitely feel like a, a bit of a celebrity. Kind of hard not to when you've got, like, what, 4,000 people watching you, cheering for you. A mix of ski bum swagger and cowboy culture. <laughs> the result, one epic ride. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Janet Shamlian in Leadville, Colorado. Snow jet skiing. I, I mean, it has flames. It has horses. <laughs> yep. I thought Janet skis. was going to take off there for a minute. I was <laughs> glad that she was just calmly walking it there. Never a little trot. Well. It looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah.